and this is it. Um, last time I wasn't able to continue because I didn't have a uh, HDMI monitor. The it turns out the only uh, video output on this thing is HDMI, and I have no HDMI devices at all. No monitors, no television, no nothing. So after putting it all together, it, it's called it's called Make a Computer, by the way. And um, I had assumed that the purpose of this thing would be educational, to learn about computers and learn about uh, how computers are are built and what the names of the parts are and what all the various parts on on the circuit board do and everything. But there's none of that. Building this computer was basically just snapping the two halves of the case together with the Raspberry Pi circuit board inside of it, and that was it. There was nothing else to it. And there's this uh, speaker built into the top of it, which I really don't see the reason for. Uh, the instructions um, were very clear about how... You can see here how the the... The, the speaker is powered by being connected to these specific pins on the board. But then the speaker gets its sound through this cable here. The cable comes uh, to the outside of the case through a hole in the case and then plugs into the uh, audio out port on the, on the board, which I, I think is pointless. I don't see the point in that at all. I, and there's nothing in the instructions about what this port is, this yellow RCA jack is for. I was thinking that it might be it might be an alternate video source since it's color coded yellow, but it isn't. Uh, I tried it. I had to order this uh, HDMI to VGA converter. I got it on eBay less than ten dollars. And it works. It works fine. I tested. Uh, I tested this uh, VGA LCD monitor that I have as a kind of a backup. My uh, both of my laptops have HDMI out to uh, uh, to be used as uh, second monitors, and I was able to test this on those. And now we're going to plug this in. The computer is powered by USB. This is a micro USB in. Uh, it has a standard USB uh, plug on the other end that you attach to uh, a wall plug and plug it into the wall. I had to get out, I had to get out two extension cords to get all of this put together. I have too many things plugged in. Let's plug in the, uh, the HDMI monitor and plug in the. Um, the operating system. Like so. Then we need to plug in the USB Wi-Fi. Although I don't see myself needing Wi-Fi right now. And then comes the keyboard. The keyboard operates exclusively as a uh, USB remote keyboard although I think it has uh, it does have uh, it does have a Bluetooth option which needs to be turned on with this switch uh, let me plug in the uh, the keyboard dongle there the keyboard has its own internal battery you can't change the batteries this USB built-in cable is exclusively for charging the battery. And this is my second time doing this video because when I got to this point before, uh, I discovered that the keyboard was, uh, the battery in the keyboard was completely dead. So I had to go away and charge for a couple of hours. The keyboard works with any computer, by the way. I tried it. I plugged in the uh, dongle to my other other computers and it works fine. I have other things to say about the keyboard but I'll, I'll say those later. Now let's plug this in and see what happens. Watch the monitor.
Okay, all the LED lights have come on inside the machine. There it is. A uh, standard Linux boot routine. I don't hear any sounds. There it is. That's what it... Uh... Oh, KKKK. That was a lot of Ks. That's what it said it would look like. I'm Kano. Thanks for bringing me to life. What should I call you? I think I need to turn on the power to the keyboard first. Okay, the keyboard has a green LED light. That means it has power. Let's type in a name. Call me Queequeg. Enter. The keyboard works. Queequeg, follow the white rabbit. He's hiding in my memory. Can you find him? What is this? Type CD rabbit hole? CD rabbit hole? All right. Here goes the rabbit again. Queequeg, it's a trap. Start X to escape. What happened? Did I not type it fast enough? Oh, I see the, I see the mouse cursor. And I'm able to move it. We escaped. Okay, now let's turn on new powers. First the mouse. Press tab to activate the mouse. The mouse is already working. Well, I'll press tab. Oh, well, I already did it. I'll press enter to continue. Wait them upside down. Click me to flip me over. Left click the mouse. Flip me. Good mouse work. Press enter to continue. Okay, this is a obviously a tutorial. <laughs> I've, I can show colors too. 16.7 million. Click hold and drag me to the color. Hold. Okay, I drag him to the color. Okay. I'm failing the tutorial. There we go. Nice work, Keyboard Ninja. Press Enter to continue. Okay, is this the, is this the desktop now? We made it. Start setup. You made a computer. No, I didn't. Set up Wi-Fi and bring your... Okay, it's gonna detect my uh, my local uh, Wi-Fi signal. Well, I don't want to do that right now. Um, not, uh, not on camera. Well, it's working, and it's working the way the instructions said it would. What I'm going to ultimately be able to do with this machine is uh, is a question. I'll uh, I, I was thinking maybe I would use it as a, a local area network, attach a couple of uh, USB drives to it. I don't know. It it only has the two USB slots though, and both of them are are in use. So I don't know. For right now, let me close this box. And see if it'll even let me. Uh, 
Let's see. No internet. Connect later. <laughs> Play offline. Oh, test the sound. I'll play that again. So the speaker is working. Quick reboot. And uh, after I figured out what more I can do with this, I may uh, I may make another video. And uh, then I'll make my uh, final decisions about whether I li whether I like this thing or not. Oh. I was going to talk about the keyboard. As as I said in my previous video, this this remote control keyboard was one of the things that I was most interested in. And, and yet this is um this is meant to sit on a desktop in front of a monitor. This is clearly not intended to be used as a handheld remote control. Um Okay, it wants me to make like a game profile. Yeah, it, it's now this silly operating system. Anyway, this is too this is too large to be used as a remote control. It's much too large for me to use it comfortably as a remote control. And that's I, I primarily wanted this as a handheld keyboard because all the handheld uh, remote keyboards out there on the market they stink. Frankly, they just they're terrible, and I'm not going to be able to use this in that way. So. Even though it does work with all my other computers, which is what I was hoping for, I'm not going to be able to use it as a remote control, which is too bad. Um, okay, so next time.